Greetings and salutations. Today we will be taking a look at Perfect Drums from Naughty Seal Audio. This plugin was recommended to me by another viewer, Grave Overkill, and being that I have an addiction to drum plugins, much to my bank account's detriment, I just had to check this one out. Thank goodness that right at the time I went to look at the website, they had a 50% off sale, so it worked out even better. As soon as I loaded up Perfect Drums, I was impressed, especially with the snare samples. This plugin has some of the best sounding snares I've ever heard. The interface is great, very intuitive, and I love how every piece of the kit is controllable. For every piece of the kit, you can control the direct mic, the overhead mic, the room mic, the reverb, and the effects, which seems to be the compression. It also has its own sampler, so you can upload your own samples if you wish. This is a great feature which seems to be becoming available in more plugins. It's great because if I like a kick drum from say, Easy Drummer, Hertz Drums, or Stephen Slade Drums, then I can create a sample of that kick and then import it into this program. The drum samples all sound amazing, equally as good as any other program I've used. But as I said, the snares are a real standout here. It has a great mixer as well, so you can really get down to the finer details when creating your own presets. It does come with a global mapping feature for the MIDI, and even comes with mapping presets for other programs, such as Easy Drummer, Superior Drummer 3, Addictive Drums, Stephen Slate Drums, and it even has mapping presets for e-kits, such as Yamaha and Roland. But this also brings with it one of the things that I didn't like. Every time you change a preset, it resets the mapping. So it seems that mapping is tied to the preset and not just the program as a whole. So for example, in Stephen Slate Drums 5, when you set your MIDI map, it'll stay that way even when flicking through different presets. Whereas Perfect Drums doesn't do that. As you flick through a preset, it resets to the base MIDI map. It's only a small thing, but kind of frustrating when you just want to flick through presets on a song that you've already done using, say, Easy Drummer or something like that. Overall, this is a solid plugin with a fantastic and varied range of kits. I would have no problem recommending this to anyone looking for a program that would suit a wide range of genres. Now, as usual, we'll listen to a song that I did specifically for Perfect Drums. After that, of course, we will listen to some presets. Please like and subscribe if you are enjoying my videos, and enjoy indeed. Thanks, guys.